Hey, 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 this is Beverly Bozeman. I am an author and creator of Speak Queen, an encouraging platform for women. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. Be sure and share this broadcast with your friends and your family. Be sure and like and subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell so that you'll know when I come on. Thank you guys so much for stopping by again. I appreciate it. The broadcast today is entitled, Could They Be Digging Ditches for You? So, have you ever hung around with a person or people and you just have this feeling like, mm, I don't know, something ain't right. This is not new people. These are people you've been knowing for a while, maybe even all your life related to them, Grew up with them, lived next to them for 100 years, whatever. But it's just like all of a sudden you're noticing that you just feel uncomfortable around them. Not like we're going in two different directions, you know, um, trying to achieve different things. But in your spirit, in your gut or whatever, women's intuition, like, I don't know, something just ain't right. It could quite possibly be your your spirit man it could be god however you choose to look at it i guess it's like a little warning signal something ain't right about this person they could very well be digging a ditch for you i don't mean a literal ditch outside to where you come by and fall in but the bible does talk about um when somebody digs a ditch for you to fall in they'll end up falling in it for themselves you know god will make sure that but sometimes we hang around people or we work with people and for whatever the reason, they don't want us to succeed. They don't want us to accomplish our goals. They don't want us to be better than them, so to speak. So they do things and say things to try and tear down our self-esteem level. Or they'll try to set us up and put our names out there in a bad way so that people will not want to deal with us. Or they may even go so far as to put us in a situation to where we could physically be messed up. And it and it could be, you know, a dangerous situation. Or it could be something, mm, something as simple as they know you're trying to lose weight. Or they know that you're trying to get off of medications, but they're always bringing food over to your house. Or they're always bringing snacks to your, your desk. Or always inviting you over to places that they know that you're uncomfortable. Like they may, might be in charge of the group that you belong in. They're in charge of the meeting places. And they, they are setting up the meetings to be at a place where they serve alcohol and they know that you've had a problem with alcohol or you don't feel comfortable being around people who drink it. You know, just stuff like that, right? They can arrange the meetings to be in places like that and you are very uncomfortable the whole time and so you're not going to be at your best for whatever the meeting is, whatever. That's, that's what I consider ditches. That might not be what God was considering as ditches when he wrote about that in the Bible or whatever. But that's what I consider as ditches. A situation where you're going to be uncomfortable or you're going to be seen in a negative way. That's what I consider as ditches. And it's the people that we know so well that are doing these things to us. And when you are dealing with these people and that little something you know what I'm saying? That little something in you is like, I don't know what's going on. I don't know why I keep feeling so bad when I hang around them or whatever. Or it's just plain as day. They're throwing digs at you about your weight. Asking you questions to put you on the spot in front of other people. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's in your face, but it's not something that you can really get totally 100% upset about because it's just, you know, little paper cuts. It's those type of situations. Those are the ditches. You have to watch out for people who dig those ditches right in front of your face or behind your back. It's 
this whole video is about paying attention to how people are treating you. And we think that because we've been knowing them for so long or we have these positions to where we're connected with them or whatever, that they would not do it. But we got to pay attention. We have got to pay attention to the signs. Of course, I'm going to keep saying it forever. Your relationship with God is critical. He will let you see things even in your dreams and reveal things to you that will be indicators that a person or a group of people, it might not be specifically one person to where it's just totally, totally revealed depending upon, you know, what's going on. But you'll get some type of indicator. Something ain't right about this person. And you might need to fall back from hanging out with them every day, talking to them every day. And I know 100% without a doubt, when you do that, you will see things clearly. That has happened to me quite a few times to where I couldn't hang out with certain people anymore. Or there were gaps in between like long periods of time, like weeks when I was used to seeing them regularly. And when that happened, I just kept having these flashes or these memories of certain conversations or certain things that were done. And then I would be like, why did they do that? Or, or just a pure revelation. Oh, now I understand why they wanted me to not do whatever or go wherever or why they invited me. And so I know for a fact that if you are having these, mm, I don't know, some name right type situations with people and you can limit your interactions with them, you might need to take that time to limit your interactions and, of course, talk to God about it. And, and, and you'll get these revelations about why they're doing and saying things or not doing and saying things. And those things might very well turn out to be ditches. And sometimes people act funny towards us and it could have nothing to do with us at all. They could very well be going through something and they just, you know, they don't know how to handle it. But you know 100% uh, with the 100% assurance when somebody is doing something to you, you know, and they're acting weird. You know that whether it's about you or not. And we tend to not pay attention to that. And that's kind of where we fall into these ditches because we're not paying attention to the signs. And like I said, it could be they're going through something. So they're, you know, you know, it ain't got nothing to do with us, but they are acting weird. We got to pay attention to that. We don't got no time to keep hanging around with the same folks who want to treat us like we ain't nothing on the sneak tip. That's the thing that bothers me. If you don't like me, don't try to deal with me on the sneak tip. And another thing, some people, they don't even know your story. They don't even know the real deal that's going on with you, right? So they'll try to hate on you and do things and say things so that you can't elevate, they don't want to do better for themselves because they're too afraid or they don't want to put in the work to be better. It's just easier to be lazy or it's easier to be in their lives, have their lives be the way that they are. So they'll try to stop you from elevating because if you elevate, then people will be like, okay, y'all got the same parents or y'all grew up in the same neighborhood. Uh, Y'all been on the job, same department, same amount of time, and now she's X, Y, and Z, and you still whatever. Some people can't handle that. And if they can't handle it, instead of them just bossing up and being like, I just like my life the way it is. I don't want no different. I don't want no better. I'm cool with life the way it is. They will try and dig a ditch for you to fall in so that your name will be bad around the city, around the town, in that particular arena. So you can't elevate with a bad name. Or they'll try to cause havoc in your marriage because if your home life ain't straight, you cannot elevate in no other area of your life. 
And some people realize that. So instead of them just, you know, taking that L and being the loser that they are, you don't want no better, then, you know, just be like that. That's fine. They'll just try and interrupt what other people have. So anyways, I hope that made sense because it's just so many thoughts that are running around in my head about this situation because I've lived it. It is what it is. But I guess to wrap it all up, pay attention to how people are treating you. That's a possible sign if they're treating you differently. It's a possible sign that they're digging ditches for you. It is a definite sign that something's going on with them if they're treating you different. It could be something going on with them in terms of you or something going on in terms of them. Definitely pay attention and your relationship with God, talk to him. Your relationship with God is going to help you in this particular situation and just talk to him about it. And he will definitely lead you in the right direction. So that's about it. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. Be sure to, again, share this broadcast with your friends and your family. Turn on the notification bell, like, and subscribe to the channel. Remember to release your genius. Pull off the impossible every day. You will have whatever it is that you say. So be positive when you speak, queen.